to always uh, stay close, close, close. No, you can only stay close because like the distance also exists. And in order to have balance, to understand how do I balance out what I have there, you need to know there is the close part, being close to each other, and there's the part of being far away from each other. It was uh, 2016. I was wearing my uniform, you know, putting on my my dress blues. You know, I was kind of think about the journey. I had a really bad day. You know, I was at a bad place in my life, I'm trying to look for the next purpose. My mother, she flew in for my retirement, and uh, I remember it was raining that day. I was really stressed out. Couldn't even enjoy, you know, the moment. And. Um, it was raining, I apologized to my mother, and I said, you know, Mom, I'm sorry it's raining, I'm sorry that nothing's ever going right, you know. And my mother, you know, she, she reminded me that, you know, with the rain, you know, the rain is needed, that the rain washes the way the old and allows for the new. Today, we talked Taoism with Master Shu Hung Yi of the Shaolin Temple Europe and Tulam, founder and CEO of Ronin Tactics. We talk about the balance between yin and yang. Today's video was sponsored by mulliganbrothers.com where you can now get the Rise and Grind t-shirts and if you look close enough, the new journal has just dropped as well where all the profits from all the products across the website go back into creating this content. But before that, let's jump into this video with Master Shu Hung Yi and Tulam. This was one of my favorite videos of the month and there's a very, very special message at the end. I am your host, Jordan Mulligan. Let's jump into the video. It's not important that you become a good fighter in this world. And it's not important that you become a good spiritual guide in this world. It's important that you find a way to live a pleasant life and in the best case, support other people that they also find the same. This is what it's about. No matter in which form you put it and which from cultural background you put it. The main idea is, if you don't find this way of reducing the suffering of your surrounding, your suffering won't stop. Why? Because you're connected. So that means you want to save yourself, save all others. You want to save all others, save yourself. So what is the best thing that can happen? You save yourself and you save the others. Then everyone is saved. I remember I, I came home one day, I was doing my homework and my mother, my mother came in with this cardboard box and she, she said, this is from your father, you know. Haven't heard from my father in over a year. I was in this place that I never asked for, struggling with this level of discipline. Now, my stepfather is a very loving man, very strict. But he was a great guy, taught me what I need to learn. But I, as a human being, struggle with that level of discipline. So I was having a really hard time in, in, in my life, and, and now I was getting picked on. It wasn't accepted. I was really defeated, you know? My mother came in with the contents of this box. She said, this is from your, your father. And I was so upset, I threw the box. I threw the box in a corner. I finished my homework and I sat there and I looked at this box and finally I built the courage to open up this box. And within the contents of this box, there was four VHS tapes, written in Vietnamese, dubbed. Couldn't read it back then, I was so young. So I randomly picked up a tape. I threw it in the VCR. It was the Art of Budo the combat side of being samurai. Yaido, the way of sword and mind. Bushido, the way of a warrior. To live this life, to live this life of higher purpose, to not allow the conditions to influence you because your why is so powerful. To live a life of Zen. Confucius. So I educated myself in the uh, arts of war. I uh, would retreat to the local libraries where I would study Taoism, 
Uh, and the reason why I study Taoism because the other three tapes were Bruce Lee tapes, and Bruce Lee believes in Taoism. Um, and Taoism is to live in harmony with the universe, right? To live through life and respect God in the heavens. Taoism. To not look at the externals and try to change what is actual truth, but to live in harmony with this actual truth, heaven. God, mountains, all these actual truths are there before us. So I was really grounded in that philosophy to live in harmony, but aware, right? As long as there is just one inside this complete constellation who carries the seed of suffering inside of him, your work is not finished yet. Because then it can always come back again because that one is going to infect more. And then that everlasting fight about which, which of these now is like dominating your current state. Which of these states at the moment is dominating? It's a constant up and down. As long as you have the number two somehow in your life, this up and down is part of it. And this is why, in order for it to stop, it can only be like this, and then don't move anymore. Even that sounds very philosophical, but for me it's pretty real. So, at one point in my life, I was addicted to painkillers. Carrying one painkiller in my coin pocket. Waiting for the next feeling that I'm gonna have to numb it. Because during the war, we had to stay awake during a reconnaissance mission. So we take Adderall. And then when we come back, we're on the pager. So our instincts, we can never rest because our mind is constant. If that pager goes, you're gonna go on that mission, right? And that mission is life and death. Is that the real? So what I'm saying is very hard to turn off the human senses of survival. So they'll give us, you know, sleeping pills. And then if you're in pain, you start taking painkillers. You understand? I dumped it all. And I sat with myself for the 30 days, you know, the first 30 days, the withdrawal symptoms, the pain, the shivering, the voices became louder. And I studied mind and body, right? So I remember there was, during uh, a certain phase of my military career, we just came out of Basilian Island where we fought the uh, Abu Sayyaf, right, in Southern Philippines. And we went into mountain warfare training when we were training in the Himalayas. It was when this training, it was uh, over a month of training with the Indian Commando Forces. Cliff assaults, you know. Free climbing with equipment, machine guns, in this rigorous environment, 18,500 feet, no oxygen up there. Training at that intensity, commandos. You know, on the weekends, you know, we, we would be exhausted. So, you know, guys want to sleep. But for the samurai, you know, I needed to go visit the Tibetan monks. So I grabbed one of my loyal commandos and he drove me to this Tibetan monk. And because he was a commando, the monks would let him in. They usually don't let Westerners in there. And he, he asked, the monk asked the commando, what does he seek? Wisdom. I walked up to this monk and I said, monk, why is the world so cruel? He smiled, he came up, he grabbed my hand, you know. He shook my hand, he pulled me out in the back. It was an open field, you know, behind his temple. Took the stick, he drew it on the ground. He threw two sacks on. One was black stones and white was white stones. And for many years, he said he would sit there. And he would look at this circle on the ground. And he has a bad thought. He would take a black pebble, throw it into the 
circle on the ground. For many years, he said. For many years, four years. He said it was all black. And now, it's all white. I asked the monk what changed. Why? He said, you see, the world is so cruel because we're unaware of our emotions within the moments. And if we take inventory of our emotions, then we have a choice. And the world is so cruel because people are unaware of their emotions. If we have more control of our emotions, would the world not be so cruel? It's very Confucius, you know. You wish the world be a better place, it begins with you. Then, you know, the next weekend I came back and visited a monk and we were sitting out in this mountain range. Huge, right? Himalayas, can you imagine? So beautiful. We were up in the border of Pakistan, China, India. So beautiful. Snow up at the peaks. And this monk sat, sat with this monk and he reminded me how beautiful this morning was. How beautiful this day was. You say, I didn't see it. I see it visually, but I wasn't there. I was trapped in pain. So I saw the ugly in everything. I wish this morning would hurry up and be over so I can go drink some coffee. Why is this monk sitting here for so long? My back's hurting. I looked at negative things, but yeah, here he is present. And I wasn't, right? First of all, you need to spend time with yourself. If you have the feeling too much of my awareness is being driven outwards, number one is in order for you to create balance, meaning to get into a harmonic state, you need to first of all find the counterpart of what actually right now is missing in your lifetime. If you spend too much time taking care of your family, taking care of your friends, taking care of your company, taking care of this and that, it's an important thing to take care of people and things around you. But it's as also as important as taking care about yourself. Because when you're dead, well, who will take care of the rest? Yeah. That's not going to work. And at the same time, once you have fixed everything that you feel for yourself is an issue and was hindering you, when you have, are able to fix this first of all for yourself, you will become a much, much greater rock where people are able to hold on to uh, than when you are someone who still hasn't been able to fix your own difficulties in lifetime and problems. And this is the reason why I also um, told you that another idea of, of making these things become possible is that now in the winter time for us, for us it is retreat time, retreating. I decide for myself, I had now 11 months where I was talking a lot with people, where I had projects together with the world outside. 11 months I had this. And now I feel for myself to prepare me for the future to come. Now I say, in one month now, or maybe two months, I need to retreat. I need to now make this two months of very hard retreat for me in order to just have the balance again for next year, 2022, to come up and go out again. Yeah. And now not everybody has this chance, of course. Yeah, If you have a family, you just cannot disappear for two months. <laughs> but a week. A week, I think this is also something which can really boost up a lot of things. To always... Uh, Stay close, close, close. No, you can only stay close because like the distance also exists. And in order to have balance, to understand how to balance out what I have there, you need to know there is the close part, the being close to each other, and there's the part of being far away from each other. 
from time to time you need to have both of these perspectives in order actually to really know what you are having there. If you spend in one of these states for too long time, you start to... it, it blurries the view. There is something missing in your perspective about what you are having there. Thank you so much to Master Shehang Yi and to Tulam for recording this video with us and doing these lessons. We have a great announcement coming up in regards to um, some of the people who've been involved in these videos. And we're very excited towards the end of the year that we will be doing a lot more interviews and we're doing a tour. Mullen Brothers is going to be going filming all around the world. So comment down below. Who do you want to see? Do you want to see a part two, part three of people? Do you want to hear uh, messages from new people? We are traveling all around the world to do that. And it's all because of you and your support at mullenbrothers.com. We can now get the Rise and Grind t-shirts and the new journal has dropped with the link in the description. All the profits go back into creating this content. Let me know your favorite part of this video. Comment, like, and subscribe and all that kind of good stuff. But the most important thing, guys, go inspire some change. Have a blessed and productive day. Follow me on Instagram as well. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.